Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video, I thought we'd uh, take a closer look at the WPL B16, the deuce and a half, the M35. And uh, what a gorgeous looking little truck this is. Uh, plenty of little details on this just to uh, add to the character of the truck. So we've got a full true 6x6 setup. So power, power goes to all six wheels. All linked via drive shafts, which is very nice. We've got a really nice uh, seesaw setup here for the uh, the rear axles, which gives ample flex. And the the front the front are uh, leaf the leaf setup as well, like you'd see in the B14 and uh, uh, B24 and 36. A uh, little tip for that is I just, uh, if you look carefully, I've just slightly loosened the screws there so it just gives a little bit more flex. Uh, it's powered by a 180 motor. This is the uh, the kit version. So it also comes with a fully proportional three wire servo in there. Try and uh, grab that and give it a turn. And uh, yeah, it's a really nice characteristic little, uh, characteristic little truck. Um, the hood actually opens and that's where the battery's kept so I'm uh, currently running this on a 20 amp ESC um, a 7.4 volt lithium-ion battery I think I got a 1300 milliamp in there and obviously combine them with my all-star AX6 transmitter receiver uh, you get in super soft kit tires as well so I've got a got a ready to run one here and pushing that down there it's quite a hard hard compound, the ready-to-run tyre, and the kit, they're just very, very soft indeed. And they uh, they give more than enough grip on the trail. And, uh, yeah, was, overall, I was surprised on uh, how well this little thing handled out on the trail. Um, the uh, the six-wheel drive gives uh, more than enough traction. So, you you know, you've got, you've got lots of traction coming from the back end there. And, uh, yeah, it got the job done. Um, if you check out my last video where I took this out on the trail... It was uh, very capable indeed. Um, if we uh, spin it round, we've got a functional spare tyre as well. That's a nice soft kit tyre. And uh, a giant rear bed there for uh, lugging cargo around. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just thought I'd uh, show, you guys, uh, show you guys what it's like up close. You really, I don't think you can get... For the money, I think they're about $40 for the kit and they're ready to run. You're getting a lot of truck for that money. You're getting a, a beautifully moulded hard body. You're getting soft tyres throughout. You're getting an included uh, 180 motor and gearbox. A uh, three-wire proportional servo. And uh, like, like I said, it's, uh, it's set up so it's uh, a true 6x6. Six six. So power goes to all six wheels. Um, the pinion and ring differential gears are all... I'd, well, I'm going to say brass, they're all metal in there and uh, I'd say the only downside to this truck if you own one, you will, uh, you'll, you'll know and you've probably experienced this if you, um, if you push it a bit hard out on the trail this drive shaft tends to pop uh, tends to uh, tend to pop off at the yoke where obviously this uh, this axle here is transferring transferring the power to the, the middle axle and the rear axle so you've got uh, two pinions coming off uh, one ring differential there and sometimes this could lock up when you're giving it uh, too much up the hills or uh, it'll cause the drive shafts to pop um, WPL have released a uh, an upgrade for this where they've uh, refined it and uh, obviously fixed that solution so you could pick yourself one of those up as well if you wanted to so overall, I'm very happy with this truck. Um, super simple to put together as a, as a little kit. Uh, just pretty much all you need is a screwdriver. Um, you need a soldering iron to solder a wire to the motor to connect it all up. But yeah, very simple and fun to put together. If you've built the WPL uh, kit up before, uh, you'll know you know how fun and easy they are to put together. So yeah, just a quick one guys, just uh, a little bit of a close-up view, and um, hopefully we'll be seeing uh, more of this now out on the trail, and uh, 
obviously take it out into his natural habitat. <laughs> what I will say is these trucks are trail trucks. They're not crawlers. They're they're perfect for you know hitting a, a beaten beaten path or you know a nice a nice uh, nice rugged trail. I wouldn't recommend uh, hill climbing with these or rock climbing. Um, my advice would be if if you get you find yourself jammed up or stuck. Um, just just go pick the truck up, reset it. That way you're not going to be snapping things, breaking things. Because uh, you've got to keep in mind that these are only $40. This whole truck is $40. Um, oh, another thing I'd like to say is the Maisto 118 scale stuff it seems to be a perfect scale. So even though these are labelled as uh, 116th, I'd say they're more 118th. I'd say... The C24 and 14, uh, <clears throat> actually 116 scale, and the C34 and 44 are probably on the, the 112 scale factor. And also, then we've got the new D12 coming out, which is going to be a, a 110th. So, yeah, just a quick one from me today, guys. A closer look at the truck. Cheers for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.